welcome back guys um, I have some quick news before we uh, start this video and um, it's not gonna matter that pretty much anyone else it's not even going to really affect me um, but I figured I'd throw it out there anyway um, part just to deal with it and get out of the way um, our cat, one of our cats we have two one of them's a um, very uh, fluffy mr. tabby the other one is a uh, who is also pain in the ass sometimes. The other one has been very sick since we got her, since before we got her, and um, she is one of the scrawnier types, but not like unhealthy scrawny, borderline, but not unhealthy scrawny. Um, and uh, she's been sick since before we got her, which is one of those we, uh, there's a, a very mutual, distant, distant, distant friend. Um, not location wise, just as far as um, knowing goes. And uh, they were again moved into a care home, and I to take care of her, asked us, and we're like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, we've had her since. Well. She's old, but I. Uh, we've had for her for at least three and a half years. And um, tomorrow, um, we went to the vet tonight. And uh, I'm, I didn't just get home or anything. Um, I've been counting money. Um, change to be specific. Um, and uh, we just got home from the vet. And um, what the cat's problem is, is that they have a... Uh, she has um, like clover teeth that are like totally rotten. Like at least 80% of them would need to be totally removed. And um, she is not a calm cat either. Tabby, apparently, now I've never actually experienced this because I, the one time that I think the cats actually been to the vet, I wasn't with them. Um, I think I was actually sleeping because it was like 9 a.m. or something like that and um, I had just graduated. Um, but um, the procedure for getting the teeth pulled and everything and because of how bad it is and the cleaning that would need to be done to figure out which teeth actually do need to be pulled because obviously we don't clean our cat's teeth. Um, which is hard enough to do if they are um, cooperative, which generally they don't know um, what's happening, uh, is 750 to 1000 bucks just for the um, teeth and the surgery for that um, because of how bad it is. Um, and she has a tumor um, on her like stomach sort of thing, just sort of the left center, sort of like the heart on the opposite position. Um, and... Uh, that would actually be the cheap one at 100, 150 bucks to uh, get that removed and um, taken to the lab to figure out how, what it actually is and stuff and how bad it is. Now, we um, aren't doing either of those options. Um, she's extraordinarily sick. And we are, uh, well, I think the decision has pretty much already been made, but we've decided to um, bring her to the vet in the morning, assuming that we can. Uh, get out of the driveway because it's supposed to snow like hell and go down to minus 30 for the rest of the week and um and by that i don't mean the fact that it's friday so it's going to be like next two days we're talking all next week it's going to be going down to minus 30 basically and it's going to be snowing the whole time or at least most of it um but we are uh we um we're scheduling her to be euthanized and uh it's something I was objective about because I straight up told my mom before we picked up my brother, I'm like, if it costs over a hundred bucks, we're not doing it because we don't have the money to spend on that. And we have another dog, our main family dog, he's been with us since, um, actually the year before we moved the first time. And, uh, he's, he's got a problem and, um, because people have failed to listen to me, um, or take my advice of use vinegar and water, internet's number one solution for ticks or uh, take them to the vet, which I've been saying for the last five months, um, or more. Uh, so, um, we're going to be taking him in next, just to figure out what the hell is um, going on with him. And she's like, let's just get them to take care of it, which I still I, mean, I still shake my head at, but, you know, whatever. I'm dealing with the cat right now. Um, and, uh... I am going to ask... Well, I don't really have to ask, but I'm going to request to, um, I, I haven't made up my mind yet, I might change it the second going there, but 
Um, but I, uh, I may or may not watch it happen. Um, I've been through a lot of shit in my life, and, um, no, I haven't actually watched someone die. Something, depending on what you count as an animal. Um, but I don't know if I will or not, and, uh, it's not, and anyone that's, um, been to that experience will tell you don't, not to, um, unless you actually are prepared for it, because it's not something that will leave your head for the rest of your life, like, it's, it's something you're downloading and you cannot get rid of it. It is on your computer, you're using that computer for the rest of your life for absolutely everything, and you cannot get that off, you cannot delete it. It's gonna stay there forever. Um, it's like asking for a harmless virus to be there, but you still have to deal with it and look at it and stuff and move it around sometimes. Um, but I'm not exactly the, uh, funny part is, is that if there's anyone that's, that's objective when they're emotional, it's me. I still do the right thing even when I'm, like, fighting for my life for it. It's like, oh, I really want to do this, I really want to do this. But if it, but if, um, it's like, you know, one of those situations, it's like, hell no. And I'll just leave it at that, I'll just stay quiet, I'm not going to think about it. It doesn't matter what it is. Like, I could operate on my own family. I'm not even joking. Yes, yeah, never happened before, so cannot prove it. But at the same time, you get my drift. Um, plus, the money can be spent on getting um, our main family dog um, to help he needs. Because he's like, what, six? I think. Five and a half, six, somewhere around there. So, uh,. That's going to be happening whenever we get to the vet tomorrow, if we actually are able to make it. I'm hoping to actually go on a bit of a trip to the next city that's closest to us, because I need to do with these things. Um, that's important. So that'll probably be in the same trip. But, um... I honestly feel like it's more peaceful than anything. <laughs> like, I don't have a problem with it. Like, I'm not fighting it. At all. I was not expecting, I mean, all veterinary stuff is fucking overpriced as hell, but I was not expecting it to be 750 minimum. Like, holy <sighs> Like, oh my god. <laughs> Like, that hurt. It hurt when I read that. Or when they told me that. When they told us that. But they, um, courtesy of them and someone that, um, gave a couple back, um, we got some, um, we got a free, um, we got two free shots for the, uh, cat that they, um, gave her when we left. For, um, one of them is a bit of a sedative to, um, to keep her mellow and stuff and let her relax. And the other one is, um, a, uh, a pill, um, it's two pills that, um, you, like, put in her food or whatever, you give them to her directly, and, uh, it's to, like, help fight it or whatever, and, um, although we are gonna probably, um, her ending will be tomorrow, uh, we don't, we don't actually know, it's totally unconfirmed, something tells me it's gonna be tomorrow. Mind you, that it also um, counts on the fact that it's snowing not enough that we can actually get out of the driveway. So, um, I figured I'd let you guys know that. It's not taking me out at all. It's just one of those... I mean, I've, I have worse news on my mind, technically speaking. Not nearly as close to home, but more shocking than anything. But, uh... I'm objective about it. Because it's one of those things, you take your losses and you roll with it. You can't do anything. It's it's not on you. Like, what choice do we really have? Because for us to do everything that we could do with the vet and try to get her help, assuming that she could be, um, it would probably cost over fifteen hundred bucks. Mind you, half of, just over half of that is literally um, just for the teeth removal because her teeth are totally shot. Her mouth is disgusting. It smells like a dead corpse for less for um. Like, that's two weeks old. If she breathes at all near you at all. Like, that's how bad it is. Um, so, it's one of those things. We aren't rich, and even then, um, 
If we were rich, maybe we'd do it. And I mean rich like a couple mil. Not like 800,000. Like, if we were rich, maybe we'd do it, but I still doubt it. It would be a really close call, but I'd still say don't do it. Like, it's just best for her anyway. So, I figured you guys should know that. Now, if you can't tell, Spec Ops has been updated, specifically the private match department, and uh, I'm going to be playing them in the next video, so, uh, adios.